Okay, so chapter 2.3, example 2, covers setting up a linear equation to solve a real-world application. The question asks, there are two cell phone companies that offer different packages. Company A charges a monthly service fee of $34 plus 5 cents per minute talk time. Company B charges a monthly service fee of $40 plus 4 cents per minute talk time. Okay, so part A asks to write a linear equation that models the packages offered by both companies. We're going to do this per month. So the first thing we're going to do is write down what we know from the problem given. We know that company A has a fee of $34 and then the rate is... Five cents per minute. And on the other hand, company B has a fee of forty dollars, and then the rate is four cents. Okay, so since this is per month, we're going to need a variable. We want to write a y equals mx plus b equation. So let's let let's let x be the number of minutes used. So for YA, which is the cost, the total cost, we have a $34 fee, which is only once. And then plus, per every minute, it charges five cents. And similarly, for part B, or for the company B, we have a $40 fee, which is only one time, plus the four cents per minute. So this simplifies to YA being 34 plus 0.05x, and then YB would be 40 plus 0.04x. Okay, for part B, it asks, if the average number of minutes used each month is 1,160, which company offers the better plan? So now we have our equations that model how much it costs given whatever how many minutes used. So what we would do is we let x equal 1,160, and we essentially just plug it into YA and YB. So for the first one, we have YA equals 34 plus 0 0.05 times these minutes. And then this would give me 58 plus 34. So at 1,160 minutes, company A will charge you $92. Okay, similarly then, we have YB, which would be 40 plus 0 0.04 times same amount of minutes and then this will give me 46.4 plus 40 so at this time this number of minutes company B charges $86.40 and then from here we can conclude that at this amount of time company B charges less so part C essentially asks the same question as part B just a different number it says that if the average number of minutes used each month is 420, which company offers the better plan? So it's the same. The only thing that we're going to do differently is we're going to let x equal 420 this time, minutes. Okay, so for ya, we have 34 plus this times 420 minutes. And then this is 21 plus 34. So for 420 minutes, company A is going to charge $55. Then for company B, we have $40 plus the minute rate times 420. This gives me 16.8 plus 40. And then this is 56.8. So for a less amount of time, 420 minutes, company A is going to be the better plan. Then the last part of the question asks, how many minutes of talk time would yield equal monthly statements from both companies? Essentially, this problem is just asking what amount of time makes YA 
equal to yb because these are the dollar values. We want to find the x value that satisfies this. And we have the equations for this, so we just pretty much set them equal to each other. Okay, then from here we're just going to solve for x. And if we, we can do that by subtracting, oops, subtracting 34 on this side, and then subtract 0 0.04x, so we have 0.01x equals 6, then x equals 600. So what this means is, at 600 minutes, both companies are going to charge the same amount.